Here be songs of decades past, of love renewed, of times to come, of politic and tragedy, of hope and disillusionment, of longing and missing, and fears and threads of enlightenment. Places and people, life's great events and adventures, lived and imagined, from schoolboy to septuagenarian, from birth to now, through trails unfollowed, opportunities missed, wrong turns and magic, meandering along, eternally new. Poets need a muse, this poet needed you. Others may write or rewrite my story, though no one really knows me at all, but in these pages are little glimmers of who I am, or who I was, or who I may become. When time has flown, come back, read my seashore thoughts, here in the dawn of a dog-shorn day, where one sixty and nine ironclad steps steep down to an unseen beach, where starfish, bright ochre, lie gleaming on the Atlantic shore in the late September sun. I will live this day but once, but fleetingly, for it is gone. If immortality is a word upon a page, then let us reach that age, however briefly, however paradoxically, however we face the bright sun, this light that lifts our spirit. Where we go remains shadowy and amoebic. I have no haste to discover more. This snail shell morning facing the ocean, the scavenging of seagulls, at odds with the fishermen out at sea, I will go down to the silver shoreline, to the Jurassic amphitheatre, to the dark walkways, to the small print now blurring on my pages. Sea dogs damp now among the dew-soaked fodder grass on this blessed cliff top, where we will return to write more chapters full of spinning tops and penny rings, jacks in the box, dancing coats with silver buttons, foxes and hedgehogs, Coom Abbey soldiers and razor shells and dreams of waterfront rooms all up and down the city road. And so life goes on, through words and verse, through blue sky morns, through iPhone taps, Chistere, Hede, Morche, here at the beginning, where pieces of my life are laid out like flotsam and market treasures, gleaming in this collection of my days and moments, my rattlesnake jar of delights.